Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, we're gonna be taking a look at some new Dark World support. Even though it's unofficial Dark World support, they can basically get a new waifu. And on top of that, we got some new info on the free match, the casual mode for Master Duel. So, let's go and kick it off with the brand new card, uh, what I'm calling the Dark World waifu, because it's basically meant for. I mean, it's coming out at like the same time, right? Uh, but it's not an official Dark World in its tech. So, it, the name of the card is Diabolica Dragon Fiend Commander, which is a Dark Fiend effect. Level 8, so it's like literally perfect for it. 20 Three on attack, zero defense points. It says you can only use one of the uh, first and second effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. The first part is if a fiend monster other than Diabolica Dragon Fiend Commander is sent to your graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was uh, there when they were sent or hand, even if not, but banish it when it leaves the field. The second part is, if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you target one fiend monster in your graveyard except for Diabolica, Dragon Fiend, Commander, and add it to your hand. So, you have the bit of ability to recycle some cards you have the ability to basically use it as free exceed some and then keep on getting it back again and again being able to get around like the negative effect of like bash it when it leaves the field if it's uh, attached as material detached it does not count but it just has to be sent to the graveyard by a card effect to get that bonus so you can use this in a lot of different decks but technically i know it's made for dark world like it's coming out at the same time it's definitely going to be good and i think a lot of people will be interested in running it going into lots of rank eight an additional card then on top of that you can maybe use it during your opponent's turn as well Definitely gonna be seeing some play in Dark World for some crazy combos. I mean, the deck is already pretty solid, and with this edition, it's definitely gonna be pretty good. It's a V-Jump promo, but nonetheless, that new card is looking pretty spicy. So, next up, though, we have some info on Master Duel. So, this isn't gonna be taking place until the 9th, but I'm dropping this video now. I'm a little early here, but this is what's gonna be in it, because I was curious to know, what are they gonna do with this whole brand new casual mode? Because this is supposed to bring everyone back into the game, right? This is what everyone's been asking for. This, and I think, Tag Duels would be, like, the most um, sought-after thing that I think players want but anyways casual and what they're i guess they're calling it free match so you can duel against random opponents without affecting your rank or player level you don't get any rewards from this mode either this is why i'm like oh you guys kind of messed up right there so i understand they don't want people to be going in here try harding playing like meta decks i get that um like i know in some uh modes though they would try to incentivize you to special summon x amount of times or deal this amount of damage it should give you rewards but the rewards are obtained by playing x amount of games like finishing them as in like you play five uh free matches right that would incentivize people Oh, I'm gonna play free matches so I can earn some gems, right? That totally makes sense. But don't make it so like it's all about winning. Just play X amount of games. Otherwise, some people will go in here and be like, well, I'm not earning anything. I can't level up my, like, you know, account. Uh, I'm guessing this means by, like, the battle pass, right? If you can't earn anything, then, like, why bother in this mode? I think that they really missed out on being able to make it casual while still getting some sort of rewards and incentivizing the competitive players to at least check it out, right? But anyways, it's aimed at casual players without uh, rankings or rewards, and it can be selected from the dual menu. Okay, so we also got some new card animations. This is just text, like, yeah, Catastro. Who's playing Catastro in 2022? I don't know. We got the Plunder Patrol. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, the Amaterasu, uh, that card actually does use some play. We got the Earthbound Immortal, Maclord. Remember our best Megalo, Odin? I mean, it's cool, but like at the end of the day, animations, I turn them off because I don't want to sit there waiting for half an hour for a duel, right? Spawn Trap cards, Call by the Grave, that's great. Uh, Droplet, Gold Sark, Cylinder. <laughs> okay, this is that classic. Mirror Force, Regeki. I'm wondering if even Swords, like who's playing this in 2022, right? Realistically, but at the end of the day, hey, uh, these are maybe just like, especially like these, the last like few, these are all like casual oriented so yeah, that's gonna be kind of cool and then win conditions your opponent decking out has a special uh, animation destiny board has a unique uh, animation after uh, featuring necro for you so just more some more uh, animations what else is there here i actually haven't read this so there's other win conditions uh, in the game will have i guess uh, different uh win conditions that float in the middle of the screen a new effect for special summons a brief glow to visually teleport from normal summons okay that's kind of cool a uh, new button in the card information pop-up when you look up the information of a card in a duel uh you would get the current status of the card there is now card info that shows the original values of the card such as its original this is actually pretty big because there are cards that actually uh revolve around like different like um stats it's like if the number is different then you do like extra damage or whatever the case may be um that's really good or for even was it like overworked there's that one card that like if it's something's modified it like pops it. I remember people were citing it against what like Firefish back in the day. New setting to show animations for the first time they occur during the duel. Instead of dragging card to activate summon, you can also drag the command to the field. Switch to hold option for activations. Okay, so just other changes over there. What are these other new features? We've got room matches, ability to save a replay footage. Oh, wait, is this like gonna be able to? I think this is just for like the room play, right? 
but I'm, I'm hoping to make it so we can like export some sort of file and send it to uh, other players without having to save it because you'll get what I think it's like 10 save slots right want to just save it to the person's hard drive and then have infinite right uh, so I still feel like this game honestly at the end of the day is still behind EDO Pro in terms of like what it's doing and like behind Omega Omega has some really good features too for copying the decks um, ability to choose a camera angle okay that's kind of cool ability to, to check the deck while seated in the table room display notification when the opponent takes a seat at the table added a refresh option deck editing new button to toggle between different forbidden lists okay that's really cool uh, that's good and then and there are many minor quality of life updates. So this is the Duelist Cup. Okay, what's coming up with this? This event will consist of two stages, the first one coming August 9th and the other one coming August 19th, and they're both gonna be ending on August 22nd. Okay, so you have 300 seconds. So during the first stage, you have to increase your D level to D level 20. You increase this level by winning duels, and as you lose, your D, lo D level will drop. D level will not drop between levels two to 15, and it will only drop by two levels past that. So you can only drop from 17 to 15 and 19 to 17 and then it won't drop after 20 this is a good change because sometimes when people hit max rank it's like what's the point of even playing if i can't go up i only go down so that's actually a great change as well after reaching duel level 20 you can uh, participate in the second stage in the second stage you uh collect dp by winning duels and lose it by losing duels okay according to your ranking and duel uh season 7 july 27 wait wait we're already in season 7 for this game that's crazy uh you get a boost in your starting uh level okay so if you play some certain levels you just go right the to like a, a closer level you also get the corresponding but what are the rewards okay no rewards have been revealed yet okay so it's just kind of announcing it um that's kind of cool uh new selection pack invincible uh raid introducing the b troopers uh, who playing b troopers cap down morphe is actually not bad and uh, new cars for nordics okay these are like kind of uh, like these really uh, dd D -D is actually decent nordic <laughs> i don't know about that mate uh confirmed cards giant b trooper invincible is ultra rare b trooper absolute hercules ultra rare guardian chimera ultra rare dynamorphia uh Ken is Ultra Rare, DDD, Divisor King, Ultra Rare, the Powerful will be uh, available August 9th. So a pretty big update, and I'm, I'm curious to see what this Duelist Cup is. Maybe we'll participate in it. I want cash prizes. They've been they've been talking about esports for I don't know how long now, but like you really gotta include like a real, you gotta have cash prizes or physical Yu-Gi-Oh products. Like even if it's just like a booster box and it's free participation, or like maybe to enter, you have to buy like uh, packs. Like you buy like 10 packs and then you're entered in, right? Like I don't know if any of you guys go to the Yu-Gi-Oh events, but like that's how it is in real life when you go to these Yu-Gi-Oh events you buy packs and that's your entry fee uh, and that'd be cool or even if like you would have to buy like a structure deck and inside it would be a code you enter it in that way they could still make some revenue for the game i just think that they really need to up their cash prizes and like i guess it's cool that we're having this tournament but like okay what you're d level 20 what are you gonna do share it on facebook with your nan like i, I need actual prizes if they're gonna have these multiple like events right there's two stages okay two stages for what d levels it and maybe a little like border icon I, I need some I need some cash cut prizes. Come on, step it up. Get get with the program. Get with Fortnite and get with like all the other games that are actually having esports with prizes. I know I've been talking about this for a long time, but Master Duel, it's been so long since the game released. Come on, give us cash prizes. Anyways, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new here and do want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content in the future, subscribe to the bell and I'll update you guys with what this uh, new update is once it comes out, if it's actually gonna be big. Anyways, catch you guys next video. Have a good one, and I'm out. Peace.